Patty Gas and Dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is 726 of my ketogenic journey, going from a former adult BBW model down to a keto cutie. And for those of you who don't know, BBW stands for Big Beautiful Woman, um, which I do think I was. If you don't believe me, go back and watch my first keto video. Anyway, guys and dolls, I'm going to show y'all what I ate yesterday. It was perfectly keto friendly and the results it had on my body today. Oh, yeah, it's like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm always so excited when I'm doing that. So, anyway, sit back. Here's my before and afters, what I ate yesterday. I'll be right back with a chit chat and weigh in. But first, guys and dolls, if you love me, if you're new here, if you're just a good person, smack that thumbs up button. Helps my channel grow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe ba ba button thingy. The red thingy down there that says subscribe, just touch that and ring that bell for notifications. That just means touch that bell icon so that you'll get notified when I upload a video, which I do every single day, sometimes twice a day. But hey, I like to talk. Check it out, y'all. Again, it is 3 p.m. I'm breaking my fast with Baconator, which tastes so yummy and good. I almost ate it all before I recorded. But it's two beef patties, uh, a lot of mayonnaise this time. Uh, th two slices of bacon broken in half and put on there and cheese <laughs> oh of course the diet cherry dr pepper and the grandbaby again who is being beautiful <laughs> yeah now the grandbaby just went with my mama and daddy to his great grandparents to go get a new beyblade he's gonna be excited when he gets home and cheese guys so it's one full piece of cheese and i'm having four to six small pork rounds with it so it's 7 p.m. I'm having another Baconator. I'm going to put that piece on top of the other pieces. Uh, I burnt my beef. <laughs> Hopefully it'll taste all right. At least I didn't burn the bacon. <laughs> this is my calories and macros. 1,940 calories, 6 grams of carbohydrates, 170 grams of fat, 99 grams of protein. Some of the protein, of course, because it's from pork rinds, does not count. And then a lot of that fat would have cooked off when I was cooking and frying up the burgers. So it's not as high as it actually appears but I was full and happy. Give Grandma just one normal picture. How about just, just one picture, so just smile. Okay. Are you gonna do it? It's on video. <laughs> <laughs> now he'll give me the normal picture, dang on it, and I ain't gonna get her normal picture. Okay, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna stop the camera, and you're gonna give me a normal picture, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so yesterday was a great keto day for me I did have one minor oof but <laughs> I don't regret it ha had I had four or more of them I would have regretted it yesterday um, I told what well, yeah yesterday I told y'all I had five sugar-free jelly beans with my grandson well last night simply because my grandson wanted to see that face I make again um, he begged me to eat one of the black sugar-free jelly beans which I hate uh, anyway, um, so I did it for it. And luckily, it didn't have an effect on me like it did the other night where I, I had a terrible headache. So I'm okay with one sugar free jelly bean, but not five. Um, which the good news is I don't really like them anyway, and I really don't like the black ones. So there's no chance of me ever eating those suckers. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all didn't see that. It didn't happen. There's no proof. Even if it is on video. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I've been feeling a lot better, doing a lot better. I still have a cough. I still have some sinusy stuff going on. But my car is covered in, in yellow stuff, so I can't really expect a whole lot. Even though keto did heal most of my allergies. Something is itching me. Sorry. Somebody come scratch my back. My God. Oh, so I got to do something on camera because somebody asked me to. It was a rather odd request, but it doesn't take much out of me. And I assume some people want to see my arms anyway. Now, of course, the per particular fella thought I had sexy arms, which he just doesn't know. Apparently, he hadn't been around in a while. Uh, and not so much, but hell with it. I'm going to show you anyway. Not a whole lot of muscle going on there because your girl's kind of lazy. 
plenty of floppy jiggles. <laughs> Beautiful, ain't it? It's better than what they were. I mean, shit, I had arms that make Hulk Hogan scared. <laughs> His little 16 inch pythons, please. <laughs> I can't remember what my measured, but they were huge. And that's okay, because I'm five foot tall. So when I get short and compacted with fat, everything spreads out. I mean, seriously, if you steamrolled me, your girl was a flat circle. A big old ball circle thingy. Um, that's all right, because I'm remedying that now. I'm getting better now. I'm getting healthier, and I'm feeling better now, and I love it. And if you haven't started keto, you need to start. But... I will preface that with, say, with saying, be careful, folks. There is a lot to know about keto, and keto can land your ass in the hospital if you're not careful. There are a few very, very important key elements, and we make light of the keto flu. However, the keto flu is a very real thing, and it can cause you harm and can terrify you, as one of my cousins found out just the other day. And I read her status. Sorry, sent me a message. My, 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 the little thingy pops up when somebody sends me a message and I get, okay, anyway, so, um, my cousin found out the other day, she's been doing keto, I think six to eight weeks now, and, um, she started having heart palpitations, it scared her, and she didn't immediately text me, because she didn't put two and two together, because she usually texts me about keto stuff and things she's, she's working on and worried about, so, she didn't text me, she went to the, uh, doctor, went to the cardiologist, low potassium it's a real thing you guys you have to monitor your potassium your magnesium and your sodium you have to make sure you stay hydrated all four of those things can land your butt in the hospital it can scare the living hell out of you but if you have knowledge knowledge is power and you know how to remedy those situations i'm going to pop a link below that i wrote that tells you all the side effects from being um deprived of salt, deprived of potassium, and deprived of magnesium, all each individually, and what you can do about each individual thing. Okay, so pay attention to your body, folks. When you start keto, it will heal so much stuff, but if you start to feel weird, headaches, cramps, dizziness, muscle aches, body aches, pay attention to those things. They're important, and you need to fix them quickly. So I'm going to pop that link below. Check that out if you need it. Also, if you're new to keto, feel free to email me. I answer and reply to everybody. My email is always in the description below, along with my website where I wrote everything out plain and simple. But if you still need me, I'm here for you. I also have a beginner's playlist, which I am going to redo. So it's still here on the channel, but um, I've learned more over time. So all those videos are going to like, likely start being redone. Guys and dolls, most of you have already seen these videos. But if you haven't, or even if you have, please watch them, hit a like button, tell me what you think about them, and any information you think that might actually improve the viewer experience so that we can get more people um, into keto as safe and healthy as possible. That's my take on that. Anyway, let's get to the weigh-in because I wanted to get to the weigh-in in the first part of this video because I'm excited. Guess who hit another new low? That would be... With me i'm so excited it took forever to hit this damn thing um <laughs> okay so yesterday i weighed in at a new low at 182.0 just 182 today 181.4 0.6 pounds down getting closer to the 170s y'all getting closer we'll hit it eventually it might take me another damn month and and i want y'all to know i am not a slow loser as long as I am careful and very basic simple keto. If I try any kind of artificial sweeteners other than my diet cherry Dr. Pepper, if I have anything with circulose in it, if I have anything with, um, what is it, xylitol? Or it's, it's, there's a whole lot of sweeteners your girl can't touch. Uh, Asplane potassium. Can't touch that. Ace blame, I can't say that word, but it's, it's short and firm form is ACE-K, but when you look on a, a label or something, it'll say Asplane. Asaflum potassium. You would think potassium is a good thing, but not in that particular form. Apparently, it spikes blood sugar and insulin, all kinds of crap. If you can avoid it, avoid it. So, <laughs> I can have diet Dr. Pepper and diet cherry Dr. Pepper. And here's something for you new folks. And some people on keto will argue to the death with you about it. I don't care. 
works for me. Uh, <laughs> I drink my diet soda pretty much all the time. I sure do. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. Bite my booty. It's my journey. <laughs> and it's your journey too. Now, if you're drinking Diet Pepsi, which is sweetened with circulose, if you're drinking that, pay attention to your body. If you're stalled, if you're not losing, back off of the Diet Pepsi. Just st stick with water for a little bit. See what happens, okay? If you're drinking Coke Zero, same thing. Try something different. Um, they're all sweetened with different stuff. The Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper is only sweetened with aspartame. Now, aspartame can cause problems for some people. It is a very minor amount of people, but if it bothers you, stay away from aspartame. It doesn't bother me, luckily. But uh, Coke Zero is sweetened with both aspartame and aspartame potassium, which bothers me. Plus, Coke products have always made me actually, like overnight, my stomach would just bubble up with air and gas and I would just get sick everywhere. So I can't have regular Coke and I can't have Mr. Pibb and I haven't been able to have those for years. Trust and believe. I, I used to love me some Mr. Pibb. Mm -hmm. Especially with some pizza. That was the best stuff ever. Uh, but no, I learned very quickly to stop that. Um, again, I can't have Diet Pepsi. Somebody did tell me that Diet Pepsi went back to circular, I mean, uh, aspartame, but I don't know if that's true. I haven't looked at the bottles in a while. So Read your labels. Read your labels. I'm talking a shit ton. Before I keep talking, hold on. I got stuff I want to tell y'all. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Before I get too far, guys, well, I've already gone a long ways. We already know. Y'all know I like to talk. It's, it's, it's my blessing and my curse. I'm goofy. I make people laugh, but I can't shut up. So, you know, you know. Hopefully, I'm funny. Some days are hit and miss. I, some days, I'm just running my damn mouth. Y'all just, the hell's wrong with her? <laughs> and some days, I make you chuckle, so that's a good thing. Um, I want you guys, when you buy my t-shirts, when you buy these bracelets from uh, Sashka, um, send me photos of you with them so I can share with other people. I love to do that. It, it's nice to see what you've gotten and what you've done. And if you have before and current pictures, if you're excited and you have nobody to share with, because I got an email from a lady today about that, that, that it seems like she's bragging to her friends and family. She doesn't want to do that. Send them to me. I will show them to you and everybody watching. And we can celebrate your victories together as a keto community because we understand that you're not bragging. You're proud of yourself. And you are most welcome to be proud of yourself right here with me. Most welcome. Even if it's a 10-pound victory, that is a victory, folks. And, and don't knock it. 10, 20, 30 pounds, that's all you lose. You're fine. That is awesome. Way to go. Don't be hard on yourself, folks. We'll share those. We will celebrate those together. And I'm fine with it. I'm happy with it. Send me a little excerpt of who you are, what you're about. I can put it over on my website. I can put it right here on just the videos. You can be on my videos. In fact, if we get enough of these, we might do a weekly video. And I'll talk to you about other people's um, goals, dreams, journeys, the things they've went through. I'll show you their before and afters. And I think that would be awesome to share that. Remember, folks, if you need my help, I always reply. If I seen your email, if it came to my email box, I reply to it. If you sent me a text message, I reply to it. And if I didn't, I didn't see it, send it again, okay? Um, or just throw a comment down there. I'll reply to that too. That's fine with me. Uh, the, the email is more for somebody who might uh, not want to share openly. You know what I mean? And that's fine too. I have no problem with it. If you drop your comments below though and ask, for question, ask questions, there are so many people right here willing to help you. You'll be surprised. Somebody asked me about sweeteners and coffee. In fact, I have a, a lot of people that ask me about sweeteners and coffee. I hate coffee, guys. I'm so sorry. I have never once in my life liked coffee. I've drank one cup, and it was only because I was so sleepy. I was literally seeing double. I was talking to a waitress I went to high school with and could not make out her face. So I drank a cup of coffee that day. But that was years back. I've never liked it. My friends were all into those. Here, try this. Frappa mocha crap I thing. And I'm over here going, it tastes like, sh no. Uh, <laughs> but I, I understand and recognize that many, many people love their coffee and coffee drinks. I'm glad I never got into that habit because you tell me you're going to charge me $4 for a drink, you're going to keep that damn drink. I ain't even going to lie to you. Now, I'm poor, but even if I had money, $4 for a cup of coffee, you can bite my booty. It ain't. Mm -mm. Okay, so I've talked too damn much. And guys and dolls, 
y'all probably will see remakes of old videos so that the information can be recycled and gotten back out there plus new information added to it. I want to make sure that everybody has the best keto information that I can provide them with. I can't tell you what's best for your body. I can tell you what works for mine. So uh, understand that my videos come from a place of experience and research. So what works for me might not be perfect for you, but I'll tell you to the best of my ability that the Baconator is working fantastic. Y'all seen what I ate yesterday? Lost weight. Y'all, I love to be able to eat like that and lose weight. Let me tell you something. Anytime you need bacon and lose weight, you the queen or king, whatever. My grandson's trying to pick the lock to the bathroom door. So it's, that, that's my cue to shut the hell up. Much love to you guys and dolls. I see y'all whenever I see you. Probably in a few minutes. Might be tomorrow. I don't know. I, but you'll see me at least once every 24 hours. So it's like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, all that good stuff. Much love to you. Let me shut the hell up.